Hello, Sea Home. I am Mrs. Steyer. Let me talk to you a little bit about our STEAM classes, science, technology, engineering, art, and math. There are lots of cool classes, depending on what you're interested in. Come check them out. You will get problem solving, using both sides of your brain, innovating, uh, and discovering your inner maker. So the first one is the one that I recommend everybody take. This is uh, how we're communicating more and more now. So with um, Instagram, etc., everything is all about what you see and communicating through that. So VizCom is the class uh, where you, you get a foundation in everything that I teach. So the elements and principles of art are there. We do photography, we do Photoshop, some animation, a web portfolio. We have lots of cool um, technology and um, cameras and equipment for you to use. And there's dual credit. So you can get um, Whatcom Community College credit and we are working on getting photography credit through Skagit Valley College. So very cool. The next one is interior design. I just think this one is fun. Everybody's going to get a chance to design an interior space right now, maybe uh, your bedroom. So we work on architectural styles coming from the outside, going in, looking at interior design styles. We make mood boards. We again talk about the elements and principles of design. We do stuff with furniture arranging. We do things. The nice thing about interior design is it's um, hands on kind of crafty stuff and digital uh, floor plans, design boards, and there is a certificate. We have interior design one and two now. So there are two precision exam tickets you can earn. Architecture. So if you want to go even deeper, this is a year long class uh, about home design. We talk about sustainable design. We talk about architectural styles, careers. We use CAD. We have really cool software called Chief Architect that's uh, professional software so you can make really cool renderings and we talk all about um, home design where should you put the rooms and the windows etc oh and we do technical sketching so uh, architects were the last of the engineers to go to the digital way so they they still really respect um, hand sketching and then the other side, how about programming? There's programming everywhere these days. The more you learn, the better you'll do. So my intro class is in Python, and we talk about all, all the basics. So learning these algorithms, what's a variable, conditions, loops, and um, careers, and just what is, what is um, going on in society. This is a class that I've only taught once and I would love to teach again. So if you are academic minded, would like to do a new AP class, I think this is one of the newest ones that they've done, um, but you haven't had a lot of um, background in programming, programming is only a part of the AP Computer Science Principles class. So there's also a lot about creativity. You can see they're doing a drag and drop um, software package there. There's abstraction, data. This one really talks about the global in, impact and the internet. So that's AP Computer Science Principles. I forgot to say all of these programming classes have dual credit, so you can get college credit while you're here, even if it's even if you don't take the AP test. And then the last one is the, the tried and true, the old AP Computer Science A. This is the academic programming class. You can start with no programming background. A little bit of math will help. Um, but I think if you're not if you're not used to really rigorous academic classes, this is not the place to start. You might want to try some programming first. Up to you. I've had people I've had people do really well if you're academic. So this is Java. There's a little bit of what Java looks like. The printing hello world. So uh, there's all the basics we start with how to the algorithms we start with variables all of those things we do the same kind of things that we do in the python class so you'll do loops and um, if statements and um, a little bit of the ethical and social and they're all about creating your own programs
And then the last one, so taking two things together, the VizCom art, oops, and the, um, and the programming go together and you make your own games. So at first we have step-by-step -step instructions where you make games in Construct 3 and you can see what the programming looks like there. So it is a, an actual game editor and you'll make games that you can really give to your friends to play. And then by the end, you make your own games. Video game advanced, you can even do 3D. So hope to see you. Uh, email me if you have any questions. Again, my name is Jennifer Sire.